Welcome back guys, um, so yeah, so I am currently editing the video for the deep clean of the 3070FE and I came across a little problem that I thought, well, why not video and get it up, because um, I've got a funny feeling that a lot of people are going to have this problem um, going forward while using Adobe. So this problem occurred when I was trying to import this uh, <coughs> um video into um, Premiere Pro. So as you can see here, um, this is the master, this is a copy and this is copy too, um, just for the sake of it so I don't lose anything, okay? Um, so if I drag this into Adobe, it comes back with the file has an unsupported compression type, um, which is fair enough. Um, sometimes I get this, sometimes I don't. This is um, probably fourth, fifth times I've had this, and it's, it's very easy to get rid of. Now there is loads of ways you can try and do this, but the quickest way that I found um, going forward is to use VLC. So we'll bring VLC up. Um, <coughs> so basically, you go into media. You jump down to convert and save. Um, we want to drag and drop the file in that we want to convert. Um, this is from the MKV and it's a Matroska file. And we want to change that to an MP4. Um, we go down and convert and save. And from this drop down menu, making sure that it's, it's clicked to convert. And then from the, the drop down menu here, um, <coughs> we've got H264 plus MP3 and MP4 as the encoder or we can go down to do um, H265 plus MP3 MP4 um, there is obviously other options that are available to you um, but the the ones that I use most are the top one and the fourth one one two three yep yeah, top one and the fourth one so we'll go with um, the top one there. Um, we want to pick where the um, file is saved. I'll pick it under there and we'll just name it as new save in caps. We'll click save. Uh, then from this, all you need to do is check it. So the source is that one there. Convert <coughs> and make sure the encoder type is selected, which is fine. Um, and then the destination file which is going into my videos folder under new save. You click start. Um, this will pop up. Um, you can see it actually converting at a reasonably reasonably good um, rate. Uh, I do have a, a quite a snappy PC so it shouldn't take too long on a, a 25 minute video. So we'll let this finish. So yep, so that's that finished. So we'll close this down. We will jump back into our videos as you can see here. This is the one I'm recording just now on OBS. And this is the new save that we've just converted. So if I take this, drag it in here, boom. It imports it straight away. Um, and that's it into Premiere Pro. And then you can drag this into my timeline and there we go guys it's as simple as that um from the un um, unsupported compression type um to an mp4 uh, and that was using vlc so yeah we can quickly just go through it again guys um it's very very easy um you type in vlc if you don't have this um, you can download it from the web i'll put a, a link in the description it's free and it's a very good program to have. So yep, so we jump into media, um, down to convert and save, you drag in your file that you want to change, um, uh, click convert and save again, make sure you select um, convert, obviously this is the source here, this is the convert, um, make sure you pick what um, <coughs> what you want to convert it to. I think this time we'll go with H265. Um, we'll go browse and this is where you want for the new save. So we'll literally just put in new save one. We'll click 
save there and then we go it's getting saved into the videos folder and we click start and um, the VLC will pop up and it's converting as you see it just there and um, so as a 25 minute video it's about 7 gig ish it doesn't take too long Okay, that's it finished. We'll close that down. We will open up um, my, the video location. So the new save is there. We can drag this in. Oops, we can drag this into Adobe. It will go in perfect. And then we can drag the new save one here. As you can see, that's the new one. Oh, sorry, that's the old one. That's the new one. And we can drag it into the timeline. So that's it, guys. Um, very very easy to do um, using VLC so yeah hope that um, helps some of you out going forward if you ever get a, an unsupported compression type um, the quickest way to do it is using VLC and the little inbuilt um, uh, conversion type um, to bring it back to MP4 so on that note guys um, look out for the next video coming along it's obviously the deep clean of the 3070 FE and we'll see you in the next one have a good one.